Hey guys, are you searching for a new fresh book recommendations? I guess you do since you clicked on this video. So today we will be talking about my all-time favorite books on startups and business. For those who don't know me, hi, my name is Eva and I'm a freelance product and interaction designer. And on this channel, we talk about design, technology and self-education. And, you know, sometimes about different resources you can use to become a better human or better business leader or whatever. Um, last year, I was able to read over 20 books, which is one and something book a month. You may think that's not too much, but you know, actually last year I was able to launch my freelance business and help dozens of companies to grow their products or create MVPs for their digital products and stuff like that. So I was very successful on my career path. I also launched this YouTube channel, which is quite a lot of work and I have two employees, two part-time employees contractors slash contractors to help me with this. And, um, I was able to finish some of my uh, fitness goals, like, you know, gaining the, that six packs and stuff like that, which is <laughs> ridiculous, I know. So I hope that I will be able to accomplish this number uh, next year as well. And uh, yeah, let's jump into my book recommendations. How to turn down a billion dollar, the Snapchat story. And well, this is definitely one of the best biographies or not biographies, like startup stories kind of books, which I've read last year. And it's basically like, you know, the startup fighting big corporate kind of thing. And they are like clashing each other. Uh, blood is spreading the battlefield, um, not really. Um, more like bits are kind of like going back and forth. Users are going back and forth or whatever. It's basically um, Snapchat versus Facebook because Snapchat is coming up with these great innovations and Facebook is basically copying them and they are doing, doing it till today, right? And trying to monetize it and trying to, you know, clash them by their bigness and by their money. But even though Snapchat in this story as a smaller budget, smaller team and stuff like that. Thanks to smart innovations and thanks to understanding their target group, they can do big things. And yeah, I, I really like, uh, uh, you know, the character of even Spiegel and it's, it's just brilliant and you should listen it up. I, I think I listened to this one as an audio book uh, when I was, you know, uh, working out or cleaning my apartment. Well, I'm not really cleaning my apartment that much. I have cleaning lady, but, uh, you know, cooking and stuff like that. It's really good when you are doing something. It's a nice story. Um, second one, zero to one notes on startups or how to build the future by Peter Thiel. So this book basically started as, as notes from class, from Stanford classes by Peter Thiel by, by one of his students. And then, you know, uh, it was very popular, it spread through the internet. And so they decided to revisit these notes and create a book from it. And uh, this book kind of describes a variety of different topics from a market uh, founding team or your team members uh, to, you know, your, your, your employees and ideas um, business. So it's kind of a mixture, a little bit from either side. And I really like some of the, the ideas. But some of them are kind of like, mm, I don't, I don't uh, agree with them. But in order to keep my mind um, open, I also need to um, read things which I don't agree with. Uh, so, you know, I know like the other side. <laughs> it's like not other side, but you know, so I know different, different ideas, even though I don't agree with them. So yeah, still it's one of my favorite books. All right, next one. Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future. And this is probably my most favorite audio book, which I've listened so far. And it's kind of long, but I was able to listen it pretty quickly. And I don't think you can kind of like learn something from this audio book. It's more like, I would say it's highly motivational or at least it's highly motivational for me. And, you know, after I finished up this book or, you know, when I was like listening and I was like, wow, uh, humanity is safe and this is awesome. And, you know, we will have flying cars soon and stuff like that. Uh, 
you know, I wasn't really think, thinking the part about flying cars, but uh, I, I was generally really excited about fu about future. And because I myself want to one day kind of help humanity, it's one of my long-term goals to create some products, product which will help people. Uh, it was awesome for me or for my like point of view and goal set and stuff like that. And the last book which we will talking about is Hooked. And I think I've read this book in 2019, but I wanted to include it because it's a great book if you want to build a digital product. Basically, this book is not like a business book, it's more like a product book. So for me, as you know, as a product designer, it was very important to read this book. And it talks about how to basically hook users on your product, how to form habits through this like cycle, I won't spoil it, but you, you know, there is like a framework for, uh, for making people to form habits, but you know, uh, you know, making them invest in something and then re rewarding them and then, you know, alert them again. And just like, it's just like, you know, <laughs> a cycle. And one company especially kind of came, comes in my mind, uh, even though it's not a digital company, but it's, it's a physical company and that's Ikea. Because basically they are following this hooked, uh, hooked framework so nicely, like, you know, it's cheap. You need to invest in building that furniture. So, you know, you have a relationship with that furniture because you build it by your own and then you have a reward you have your furniture and you can use it. But, you know, it's still, it's cheap. So it breaks uh, kind of early. So then you need to buy a new furniture and build it. So you again, love that furniture and yeah, you know, cycle repeats. So uh, if you are interested in user retention, I guess, because that's basically what habit forming is, then you should check out this book. If you want to see more recommendations or you know what I'm up to, you can check out my website and I have a newsletter there and I share uh, interesting resources and books every three to four months. I'm not trying to spam people. So it's kind of like luggish kind of thing. Or, or I have a, like a book diary on my website as well. So there are all of the books I've read so far. And, you know, maybe not like books I read on high school and stuff like that, but, you know, as an adult kind of, a kind of human, there are all books I've read um, from like, I don't know, 19 till now. And um, all of them have descriptions and links to Amazon so you can buy them right away if something catches your eyes, uh, which would be wonderful. And, uh, one last thing or thoughts on books is that I think that reading is probably one of the best habits I implemented when I started my self-development journey. And thanks to that, I learned a lot of things. I feel like books can kind of explain things in more complex way than, for example, articles or videos can. Uh, but, um, you know, sometimes authors tend to over explain things and then the book is just like blah, blah, blah. Uh, after a few interesting chapters. So I sometimes don't finish uh, books if I don't like it. I'm not feeling like, you know, I don't feel the need to finish every book I start to read. So my general approach is, you know, doing what I like to do and enjoy along the way and not focus only on that one, like specific goals at far end or whatever. I, I tried speed reading at one point, but I, uh, well, I'm, I got back to normal speed reading and taking notes. So now I'm kind of like slow in reading because, you know, I have to take notes as well, which, which basically takes some time. But I feel like I can remember things better when, you know, than when I speed read or when I don't take any notes. So that's kind of helpful for me. Uh, you can you can try that as well. I know that some people kind of like write in two books and stuff like that, but I write in just like regular Apple notes on my phone. Uh, so, you know, I can like browse these notes uh, when I'm on road and stuff like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button because YouTube algorithm loves that and see you soon next week. And yeah, have a nice day.